Okay. It's about time. It's, it's that time in the show when uh, Philip Nelson comes on oh. and he tells us what you should rent if you've got kids. We, we don't, don't have, know that. We don't know that. We don't have kids. We don't even like kids. We don't like kids. Don't have kids. <laughs> Don't know what kids are. No. It's I just I stomp on them. I stomp wow, yeah. on them and their memories. This is turning dark. <laughs> <laughs> All right, parental guidance, folks. Here it is. Uh, I don't know where that was going. Uh, it wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> it's going nowhere. Slow is where it was going. Uh, Philip Nelson, you there? Yeah, I'm here, guys. No, oh my God, oh, Philip Nelson's here. That was loud. That was loud. How you doing there, Philip? So now, where are you? Are you in Texas? Actually, I'm back in Texas. Uh, just get, came back from L.A. and then headed to the Winter X Games in Aspen next week. So I have a few days here with the family. Nice. You're, wait, you're going to the Winter X Games? Yeah. Have you been there before? Yep. Is and it like the ones in, in, in France. I, I, we help them with all their, their streaming. So the ones in Tignes, France are pretty awesome, I have to admit. La wow. da with the France. He has Whatever. the greatest job in the world. He does. He's going for the team. It literally, nice. he's, he's traveling. He was at he was at Nam, which is all the rocker musician guys, and he uh, actually invited the whole streaming garage crew to see Megadeth. Sweet. Philip Nelson has the greatest job, greatest life with new tech that I've ever witnessed. Well, here's what wow. Philip has. Here's Sometimes Philip has. he watches movies with his kids. That's right. There's and um, <laughs> what would you like to recommend this week, Philip Nelson? Well, this movie actually, when it, when I saw the previews for this movie, I wasn't interested. I didn't want to see it. <laughs> and my kids didn't really want to see it based on the previews, but my son, Noel, he's 12, he went to see it with some friends, and he came back so excited about this movie that uh, he started wanting all of his <laughs> sisters to see it, and it's Despicable Me. Um, so Despicable Me is our, our pick for this week, and I, I didn't go see it at the theater, but you know he, he actually asked for this DVD for Christmas, so I, I was like, wow, he's gone to see it at the theater a couple of times. He's told all his sisters they need to see it, and now he wants the DVD for Christmas. It must be halfway decent. So uh, over the Christmas holidays, we sat down and watched Despicable Me, and I was actually blown away by what a great family film this is. It's not what I expected at all. Um, you know, the, the concept is there's a guy who's a wannabe supervillain, and he's got this plot to steal the moon. And he basically adopts three orphans just so that he can use them to steal the moon and get this shrink ray. But it you know, really became a, it's a great movie because there's a lot of comedy in it. And it is a very, very sweet film. And um, I, I couldn't believe how good it was. So you know, I highly recommend Despicable Me. If you haven't seen it, um, I, would, I would highly recommend you go get it tonight. So uh, let's jump right into our ratings. As, you, as most people know, we rank the movies on different criteria because every parent has a different hot button that they might want or not want their children to see. So the first category is in the action category. And I'm going to give this one a three on a scale from one to five. It's right there in the middle. It is, it's got some fun little parts. There's action, but it's not over the top and stressful to kids. The next category is romance. I'm going to give this one the lowest rating we can give it, which is a one. It was perfectly family appropriate for anyone, and uh, there really was no romance in there. Um, it's just, it's, it's very, very sweet and, and a terrific movie. Um, in the language category, I'm giving it a one as well because it really had no bad language. The worst thing they did is they used the word but. So. You know, <gasps> Oh yes, and I even said it. I even said it on parental guidance. You just upset so Corey. Edgy here. You really upset Corey just now. My dainty ears. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to let you down. So tough crowd at the streaming garage tonight. Um, so, and, <laughs> and then, and then in the the next category is peril. And peril. The reason we break out peril and action is because you know some parents really have a problem with people being like in dangerous very dangerous situations but then a little action doesn't bother them and I put this one as a two in peril because they're 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 this evil villain goes and adopts three little girls you know <laughs> and it's the kind of a bizarre idea that and and so I, I couldn't give it a one but I am gonna give it a two which is very low and, and really there's nothing in here that I would object to any of my children seeing any of my 1,000 kids can watch this movie <laughs> the litter. Um, 
And then I'm going to give it on adult enjoyment because one of the reasons we have the category adult enjoyment is because there's two, to me there's two different kinds of movies. There's family movies and kids movies. A kids movie is one you put on and leave the kids watching because it's so horrible that you can't bear it. And then a, a family movie is one that's a quality movie that you actually would watch with or without the kids. So I'm going to give this one the highest rating possible, and that's five, because I have to say this this movie had some great lessons um, about caring for people and and not being so self-centered and and kindness and and the little girls in the movie are just so sweet, even though that this is a bad guy who doesn't really care about them. They actually are sweet little girls, and it's just a, it's a terrific movie. And you know, I would say go buy this one instantly. I, I, I like this movie. I love the Minions. The Minions are the cute. The Minions are hysterical. The little, the little really yellow uh, one and two eyed thingamabobs that uh, kind of serve him at his beck and call. You know, there, 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 there are certain companies where when they come out with an animated yeah. film, you know it's going to be good. Yeah. Pixar, it's going to be good. DreamWorks, yeah. Hit and Miss, you know, Universal. Yeah. yeah. But, they, but this was actually made relatively inexpensively. I think this was like $65 million or something. I think wasn't this made in France? Yes, it's a yes. French animation company. Yeah. So you know, it's it's nice to see a couple of the movies that we we that I've reviewed that I love, like Astro Boy, wasn't in the traditional, you know, production system that yeah. we see most of the animated films coming out, and then Despicable Me, and the voices were great in this. I love Steve Carell; he is always awesome, and uh, I, I just I could not believe how much I liked Despicable Me. I really couldn't. So that is a that, that is a buy and a half. It is. I agree. Nelson. Just go ahead and buy two copies in case one gets scratched. Uh. <laughs> yeah, there it is. All right, Philip Nelson, thank, thank you, you very Philip. much. Thank Philip Guides. Excellent. Woo!